Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Monday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 145. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. I will ponder the glorious splendor of your majesty and all your marvelous works. They shall speak of your might and your wondrous acts and I will tell of your greatness. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness and they shall sing, they shall sing of your righteous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his compa compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power, that the people may know of your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is faithful in all his words and merciful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall. He lifts up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the needs of every living creature. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him and to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him and he hears the, their cry and helps them. The Lord preserves all those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Let us pray. Loving Father, you are faithful in your promises and tender in your compassion. Listen to your our hymn of joy and continue to satisfy the needs of all your creatures and all flesh may bless your name in your everlasting kingdom where with your Son and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our reading continues today in Job in the 32nd and 33rd uh, chapters. So these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then Elihu, the son of Barak, Bar Bar Akshel, the Bizite, and the family of Ram became angry. He was angry at Job because he justified himself rather than God. He was angry also at Job's three friends because they had found no answer, although they had declared Job to be in the wrong. Now Elihu had waited to speak to Job because they were older than he. And when Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, he became angry. And Elihu, the son of bar Achel, the Bizite, answered, I am young in years and you are aged. Therefore, I was timid and afraid to declare my opinion to you. And I said, let days, let days speak and many years teach wisdom. But it is the spirit in a man, the breath of the Almighty, that makes him understand. It is not the old that are wise, nor the aged that understand what is right. Therefore, I say, listen to me. Let me also declare my opinion. Behold, my heart is like wine that has no vent, like new wineskin it ready to burst. I must speak that I may find relief. I may open my lips and answer. I will not show partiality to any person or use flattery toward any man. For I do not know how to flatter, else would my maker soon put an end to me. But now hear my speech, O Job, and listen to all my words. Man is also chastised with pain upon his bed, 
and with continual strife in his bones, so that his life loathes bread and his appetite dainty food. His flesh is so wasted away that it cannot be seen, and his bones, which were not seen, stick out. His soul draws near the pit and his life to those who bring death. If there be for him an angel, a mediator, one of the thousand, to declare the man which is right for him, and he is gracious to him, and says, Deliver him from doing, going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. Let his flesh become flesh, fresh with youth. Let him return to the days of his youthful vigor. Then man prays to God, and he accepts him. He comes into his presence with joy. He recounts uh, to men his salvation, and he sings before men and says, I sinned and perverted what was right, and it was not requited to me. He has redeemed my soul from going down into the pit, and my life shall see the light. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. God. And our second reading comes from Acts, the 13th chapter, beginning with verse 44. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with jealousy and con uh, contradicted what was spoken by Paul and reviled him. And Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you, since you thrust it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we turn to the Gentiles, for so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the utmost parts of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of God. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord spread throughout all the region. But the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up uh, persecutions against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their district. But they shook off the dust from their feet against them and went to uh, Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be you. to God. And our Holy Gospel comes from St. John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, Glory O Lord. Lord. There was again a division among the Jews because of these words. Many of them said, He is a demon and he is mad. Why listen to him? Others said, These are not the sayings of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? It was the feast of the dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered round him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness to me. But you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father, God, and to the Son, and to the Holy Lord. Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the perfection of justice is found in your love and all mankind is in need of your law. Help us to find this love in each other that justice may be attained through obedience to your law. We ask this through, G through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. 
Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Mm -hmm. Our Lord, Father, who Lord, art in heaven, Lord, hallowed Lord, be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. come. Thy Lord, will be Lord, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining Tom and I as we begin our day on this Monday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.